House Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Roger calls it a sheer level of incompetence. What or who is he talking about? Com Congressman Rogers joins us. Good evening, sir. Greta, great to see you. Nice to have you. So sheer level of incompetence, what were you re referring to? Well, the level of security on this website uh, is not even up to minimal standards in the, uh, the private sector. And when you talk about the sheer sensitivity of the information that the hub has access to, so think about all of these different servers with really sensitive information goes to the hub. Uh, it, none of it has been stress tested. So they're adding new code constantly, which hasn't been vetted appropriately. And every time you add new code, it changes the ecosystem of the security of the entire website. None of that has been tested. So we know that this thing gets hit thousands of times a day by people trying to get in and get uh, access, unauthorized access. They have no coordinated effort on every single day to try to monitor and track that. Matter of fact, the, the, uh, they could not even provide someone uh, CMS and HHS, the two, the two folks that are responsible for the healthcare.gov website, couldn't even uh, provide someone in a classified setting to come up and talk about the breaches of which they know have ha happened. That's, uh, that's unconscionable. So what we do is we've got people, you're encouraging people to go to a site that our own government knows doesn't meet safety standards when it comes to security of private information. That's why I think this is so incompetent. And it really, if you're going to do this right, Greta, the way any other company would do it. And if you notice, uh, you know, iPhone or, or Apple never says it's this exact date that we're going to do the opening. Why? Because they're stress testing that system right up until it's ready. Then they say it's the fall, we're going to go on whatever, October 1st. This they did it the other way around. They say we're going to meet October 1st and we're not going to stress test it. We're going to go ahead and, and make all these people exposed to this problem and not tell them about it. That's just wrong. Well, here's what I don't understand. We just had uh, an expert on who shares the same view as you do. He testified before Congress, and he and the three others had said that the security of this site was just, you know, disgraceful. What I don't understand is that why do you think that Secretary Sebelius and President Obama are so forceful in their advocacy of this website in light of what you say and what these experts say about the security of information on that website? You know, I think they're they're married to this political timeline. I think they they believe that their politics is mired in the success of the website, let alone what you think of the healthcare product once it uh, gets working. And I think that's a serious mistake. No business would do this. Uh, I think the president could get a lot of points here if he stopped backed up and said we're going to close this thing down until it is fully secure up to modern day industry standards uh, I think he could get some kudo points for this instead he's just decided I'm mired to this thing and by God we're going to do it no matter if people losing their personal information or not that that's wrong they, we, if this were the private sector I talked to a contractor who said we would get sued to the point that we were not in business anymore if we were even close to doing what they're doing on this website. That we, ought to, we only that's have, a pretty we good indication 30, we shouldn't be doing. We only have 30 seconds go and we're going to go to black, but I'm just curious. You say that uh, Mr. Snowden didn't work alone. You believe someone helped him. Who do you think helped him? Well, I, there's a whole bunch of questions that we have to have answered, including uh, where he stayed when he went to China, how he, uh, he exceeded his capabilities in retrieving information that uh, raised a lot of questions. So we have a lot of questions. It's clear to me as Intelligence Chairman get to see it all. Uh, there's more to this story, uh, and we're continuing uh, our look at it. I know the FBI is investigating, and I think the public has the right to know. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thanks, Greta. And thank you for being